Today we're going to take a look at the Vantage Med. Vantage Med, based on the Fiat Ducato medium wheelbase van, which is 5.4 metres in length and 2.6 metres high. This particular model we're looking at today is in the aluminium grey, which is the silver colour which is an optional metallic for the Vantage range, standard being white. Do also offer lake blue, which is a powder blue, pale metallic blue. Also the golden white, which is more of a champagne colour, again in the metallics. This one also has the body colour bumpers, the black alloy wheels, the awning, and the reversing camera and monitor included with sat nav which is all neatly in the rear brake light on the back of this van so as you move around the back with the twin rear doors to the driver's side of the vehicle with all vantage models we fit the outlets and exhausts and inlets to the driver's side of the van keeps it all on one side of the vehicle which means the passenger side where you've got the sliding door it's nice and free for that inside outside space you're not falling over water carriers and cables or exhaust from boilers and things like that so standard this model comes with the underslung LPG gas tank 25 litre gas tank we've also got the mains inlet the water inlet with lockable filler cap, the cassette toilet door, which allows access to remove the cassette toilet. It's the C400 series Thetford bench seat toilet on these models with a 19 litre capacity tank. Also your outlets for your fresh and your waste water. So fresh 70 litre tank on this model and 50 litre wastewater tank nice and easy right at the side of the van there for emptying out into either a water boat or if you are on a super pitch you can fit the hose onto those ends and just run it straight away into the waste to leave your wastewater tank open and drain away quite easily the back of the van is the boiler exhaust so situated again on the driver's side of the van so keeping all your amenities on this side of the vehicle which is great as i said for the outside space on the passenger side but not only that it keeps everything under one of the seat lockers on the inside leaving the other side totally free for storage i'll show you a little bit more of that when we go inside talking about storage from the outside if we open up the back door here nice good storage area at the rear of the van also a little light in there as well so if you are pulling up on site or you need to get access into there for cables chocks all your bits and pieces that you want on the outside of the vehicle that you don't want to take in the van you can get access in there and if it is on an evening where you haven't got the light from inside the van you can just use the push light at the side there to give you illumination into that rear storage area also at the back you've got the little hatch that comes through from the living area which gives you access into that rear storage area so if you've got any other boots or anything like that that you want to pop in there you can quite handily get those out nice and easily through the little access hatch in the rear again this model is the rear lounge so with the two rear doors open if you wanted to you've got a nice inside outside aspect at the rear of the van as well as having the sliding door and as we move around we'll have a look at the inside of the van so coming round to the sliding door standard on all Vantage models is the awning light above the door Acts as a rain gutter also, so any water coming down from the top of the van just comes over there and runs away to the side rather than dropping on you when you open the door. 
Again, a standard feature on all vans is the uh, electric step. And as we open up the van door on this model, an optional feature on all Vantage models is the door fly screen, which pulls across the entry into the med. So just stepping into the van, you've got the twin swivel cab seats at the front there which swivel quite neatly around to the outside of the van. Just at the back of the driver's seat, you've got your two table legs. The larger one for operation inside the van, either up at the front here or to the rear of the van. With the smaller leg being used with the tripod, which comes with the van, to be able to pop outside, say if you're taking an additional table. So the tables are stood quite neatly, just above the driver's area. So you've got the smaller round table, and then you've got the larger rectangular, which does have a nice little hollow that drops into to keep them securely in place. Also up at the front of the van, you've got your distribution panel, giving you your water level indicators, light switches, pump running switch, main 12 volt switch, along with your solar regulator. So it comes a standard with a solar panel on the roof of the van and twin leisure batteries, which are situated just underneath the driver's seat. As you can see with a little sunshine there, this is in operation at the moment. And charging into the batteries themselves, so 12.4 volts down at the leisure batteries. Just looking in the wardrobe, nice handy wardrobe, good size with hanging rail. In the back of the wardrobe there, you've got your main and 12 volt distribution panel, all your fuses, nice and handy, easy access, along with your solar regulator and the switch for your fridge. Nice little mirror on the door. And then below the wardrobe is the isotherm or basto fridge. 85 litre fridge with freezer compartment. So good storage size on that. With all Vantage models, we use the compressor fridges, the 12 volt fridges. We found these fridges to be the most efficient fridges that we can pop in the vans. I know a lot of customers have concerns over 12 volt fridges and running batteries down. With the battery system that's in the van, having 200 amp hour leisure batteries, along with the solar panel, there's three ways really to charge the system up through your alternator from driving, plugged into the mains electricity, or through the solar panel. You're more likely to need to have a, uh, a stop off to empty the waste tanks, toilet tanks, and top up your fresh water again, rather than running the batteries down. So we found these fridges to be great efficient fridges, giving a nice deep fridge as well. So don't take much cupboard space up as in a height wise, but a nice deep fridge, plenty of storage in there. So opposite the uh, fridge and washroom, is your kitchen unit so as I'm sat down here in the cab area you've got your inside outside space with the kitchen unit which has the three burner hob oven and grill combination that's the, th the triplex oven and hob combination Nice bin at the side there or document holder depending on what you want to use it for. And we also add the little flip side, the side of the kitchen unit to give a little bit more preparation space. So when you're using these units, obviously you can have the little flip up there 
which does give you extra worktop space and same on the opposite side of that kitchen unit. Pan storage drawer below along with the cupboard with drawers at the other side of the oven underneath the sink unit. And also on that unit there you've got your power tower so the power tower here does give you three main sockets one two and three along with two USBs at the top there which can just push down to store away give you a little bit more preparation space so lifting up the flip at the rear side again as at the other side gives you additional preparation space you've got your sink nice deep sink with bowl and then as we said a few moments ago storage underneath your sink area there you've also got your cutlery drawer and nice deep storage drawers solid drawers for storing all items within the kitchen area opposite we have the washroom so a good size washroom nice sink what we try to do with Vantage with the uh, washroom sinks is give a, a decent sized sink that allows you to utilise the sink um, for washing, brushing your teeth etc. And the shower tap comes out there to allow you to use it as a single or a sprinkler section on there depending on how you're using the tap whether for the sink or whether for the shower. Bench toilet, nice storage cupboard, which has plenty of storage in there for all your washroom items. Mirrored cabinet and mirror opposite as well, along with the roof light in there to allow for ventilation, which can be wound up in the area. Coming back out of the washroom, so with the rear of the van makes up to a transverse double bed. So six foot across the van, four foot six wide, made up on the Easy Glide bed system. So these just pull out nice and easy, glides all the way across, dropping the backrests into the centre there to give that transverse double bed. And again, when popping away, slides away nice and easily. In the rear of the van, you've got opening windows all the way around, the rear and the sides. Along with storage cupboards above. nice solid storage units opening roof lights nice and simple to open up to allow ventilation into the van and with all the roof lights and windows you've got fly screens as well as blinds that allow to black out in the van On the passenger side of the vehicle, rather than having the opening window that's hinged up the, the top of the window, we have a sliding window due to the sliding door on that side of the van, which means you can still have ventilation from the window and obviously don't have any accidents by catching that window as it opens. So as I said outside, having the boiler on that driver's side of the van allows for storage under the bed box so plenty of storage under there lots of space to divide up as you choose and you still have under this side of the vehicle a 
boiler, Truma combi boiler, a little bit of storage space around your water pump and your gas manifolds, etc. So it's the Truma combi boiler that's fitted as standard in Vantage models, which is for your heating, your hot water, which can be run on either gas or mains electricity, depending on what you're on. Position for 12 volt sockets and USBs for your television, television aerial. Have the option of a television to be placed on the wall here. And a main socket down at the bottom there. To allow for easy plugging in depending what appliances you're wanting to use in the rear of the van. So looking back up at the front of the van, this particular model has leather steering wheel with steering wheel controls. It's a manual six speed box. Automatics are available. This model has the cruise control along with the cab air conditioning and built-in sat nav and reverse camera where the reverse camera image is shown on this little monitor here. Lines are fitted at the front also on the doors as well which are the concertina blinds and the same on the front of the vehicle which allow you to black out the whole of the van when you're wanting to use it on an evening so coming back outside the van this particular model's got the Fiamma awning as an option on there as well I'm just having another look back round there this is the Vantage Med if you are wanting any further details on this model or any of our other models that we have in stock or would like to purchase forward orders don't hesitate to get in touch contact us by phone on 0113 242 666 double one or visit our website at vantagemotorhomes.co.uk